Alrighty, time for us to make some progress here. Or just destroy stuff. Yeah, let's destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah, destroying stuff works. Like this, I'm gonna set this on fire. And that gives me a driver's license, because that is totally a place where people get driver's licenses. Under things that are easily burned. Yep. Some money over here, bus ticket over there, I need a ring, I need some cards, I need some gum, and a pipe. I don't know why I need these random things, but they give me a key. They give me a key, and the key is going to work over here. Giving me the second puzzle piece. Turn that off for button. And button goes over here. Puzzle piece goes over here. So this is a minor puzzle. You just want to move things around. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six on the top. And whatever the numbers are on the bottom. Hello, if you want information on a patient, put the medical record in the tube. Gosh, Henry is sounding like such a creepy person. I mean, he was my dad in the main game, and now he's like the villain. Hmm, Jesse Sullivan. You must be her husband. I'm sorry to say she died two days ago. We didn't have a chance to contact you. She contracted a strange infection. You can find more information at the police station. I'll give you an access card. Just show your wife's card to the officer there. Okay. So we've got an access card and everything, so let's go to the police now. You have to use the access card, and you want to dust off this area. So you learn the access code is 483. Oh, we have more hidden objects? We have more hidden objects, too. Uh, let's just find these hidden objects real fast, and then get back to the police station, shall we? Folder. The folder is a thing that we want to get. That is a very important thing. I think it's just some random person's folder, but w w whatever. It it's a random folder. And we'll get to see why it's useful in just a moment. So, hey, officer. I hope you've seen the doctor. You have some questions for me? Uh, sure, sure. Um, questions about my wife. I always thought it was a bad idea to open the clinic here. Because of outsiders like you, we have some kind of plague on our hands. We managed to take some measures regarding your wife. Her belongings are in the container. Here's the key. Oh, sure. Blame me for the fact that people in your town are dying. Yeah, yeah, like it's my fault. My wife just died, buddy. That guy's a jerk. Anyway, here's my wife's ashes. Here's some random paper. Here is my wife's personal file, and some coffee. Gotta love that coffee. We have a pen knife, and that's something we'll be able to interact with later. Okay, so I compare my wife's file to the random file. You'll notice there's an awful lot of similarities. And this puzzle is to click on the things which are not similar. You click on the things which are different. See, that goes there. That was a difference. Um, this is a different. Okay, those two lines look exactly the same to me. Those two are different. And maybe this is different. Okay. Three differences here. Four differences. And notice one is alive and one is dead. So my wife is really alive! You just copy pasted information from a dead person's file. Officer! Uh, uh, I have nothing to do with this. If you want answers, talk to Dr. Miller. Here's the password for the clinic's second floor. Thank you very much, Constable. And then he just runs away because, you know, he's scared of me slapping him in the face. Wow! So my wife isn't dead after all, she's still alive, but, but, 
what happened to her? Why are they saying she's dead? What is this creepy thing? This is a creepy mannequin, and yes, we do have a puzzle trying to fix up that creepy mannequin. We need to find all the parts to the mannequin. Like this part. Goes there. Goes there. Goes there. We can't go through here yet. Uh, we can't go through here yet. And we can't go through here yet. Lots, lots of areas we can't go through yet. But now we have the items to solve the puzzles here. And we get a random thing. Cool. Random thing. I like it. It's actually for the mannequin, I believe. Hammer over here. Opens up uh, this ward. We have more items. We have like a pencil. We have... Um, I'm the last. Jesse's gone today. I'm gonna escape. I hope my plan works. And there's a wolf badge. Uh, wolf badge goes all the way back here. Gives me the other nut thing. Okay. So those nuts are going on the mannequin. Looks like all we needed is uh, hood covering. Hood covering. So let's see. Over here we have something for the urn. That needs to come off, so I'm, I'm going to take it off with my screwdriver. What else do we have here in this crazy, crazy place? Paper. We can draw on the paper in order to get a safe combination. That's good. We don't actually have the safe. We actually don't know where the safe is right now, but I, I mean, I guess it's good. And this can go on the urn here. I'm going to use a hint because I totally forget what to do next. What, what, what am I missing? The gear? Oh, there we go. Okay, we fixed the mannequin, and we got its eyeball. Creepy. But the eyeball opens up Dr. Miller's office. Hey, Cousin Neil. We have to turn off this chamber. There's a patient inside. Okay, let's let's do that, dude. So this is a puzzle. Uh, you need to figure out the middle number. So that that is not the middle number. Okay, what about 422? One one one. No, one 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 isn't close. Uh, four hundred. Ooh, that looks very very close, but apparently that's not it. Three seven seven. No, that that's not high enough. Three eight eight. Three nine nine. Oh, how is that not it? That looks like it's perfect. Three nine seven. Oh, that's not high enough. That moved it down just a little bit. We're too late. So yeah, that's the puzzle, and it's got a random solution, and it's kind of crazy. And, oh boy, we're too late to save random person Robert Pallion? Who is that guy? I don't know. What's this? Oh no! What's this? It's trying to show us something. I'm Neil. Are you Jesse's husband? She's alive. Dr. Miller moved her to a secret laboratory. There may be some clues about where she is in this room. Check his computer. I found the password. Okay, so we have just introduced ourselves to Neil. I'm Jesse's husband. I'm here to find Jesse. That's the character I'm playing as. I hope I can find Jesse, my poor stolen wife. I, I don't know what the doctor would do with her. So that's the password, and uh-oh. Is he doing his creepy werewolf experiments on her? Dr. Henry Miller has now become a villain. He was sort of a hero in the main game, but here in the bonus game, he's the villain. 